my name is Amy Denny, and I am a peer support specialist at the Lifewell Oak Clinic. I would like to take a few minutes to tell you my story of my journey on how I became a peer support specialist. I have struggled with drugs um, since I was 14 years old. I started doing drugs. I had body image issues, a lot of insecurities as a 14 year old, and I I just felt more comfortable when I was high. And so I just kept using. I was a functional addict for years, um, was able to hide it, was able to still kind of manage life. And then in college, my third semester of GCC, I found somebody that sold Oxycontins and I got heavily, heavily into opiates. And so I spent my, all of my 20s in and out of rehab, in and out of rehab, and I just couldn't get it right. And I was in a really, really bad car accident in 2010. I was ejected from my vehicle on the 202 in a high-speed crash, and I spent a long time um, in the hospital. I spent two weeks in ICU, a week in the burn unit. When I got out, I went straight back to using that should have been my wake up call that I need to change my life, but it wasn't. I just kept using, I had no coping skills and it was so traumatic. And then a few years after that, I well, the law had caught up with me. I had been pulled over in a stolen vehicle and I had drugs on me. I went to Tent City for six months. I, I didn't, um, I, at that point, I didn't really want to change my life either. I got out and just started using again. I didn't, at that point, I didn't didn't know how to do anything else but use. I was, um, that was, that's how my life was, was every day getting high because I had no idea how to be a functional, functional, successful person. I had no idea how to do it. And I, um, I found out I was pregnant a few months after I got released from Tent City and I, I didn't know what to do. I was scared. I kept using. Um, I had a PO because I was on probation and she told me that you can either have your baby in prison or you can go and have your baby and get help in rehab. So I went at five and a half months pregnant. I went to LifeWell Site 1, which was amazing. They helped me get clean so I could have my daughter. I um, really loved the program there. It was so great to be around other women that were either pregnant or had their child with them, and it gave me hope. And I, um, I had Addison nine days after I graduated Site 1. I unfortunately didn't do any IOP programs or any support groups like I, that LifeWell had recommended that I do, and I didn't do them. Um, so I did relapse two and a half years after um, when Addison was two and a half, and um, things went really fast after that. We lost the condo, the cars, um, living in hotels with her. And when she was four, DCS got involved and they took her when she was four. Um, I had more trauma and ex than I had with the accident. Having your baby taken is, is so intense and horrible and um, and that was the moment I knew was when um, we had our first visit. I hadn't seen her in six weeks and I had went to detox and I got out and I was in a, had gotten into a program and I saw her at a visit and she came running out of the DCS van with the parent aid and right into my arms. And I knew in that moment that I would never get high again, that I would never get high again. And... Um, and so then I, I went to a program where you could have your child called Weldon House. With, it's with Arizona Women's Recovery Center. And they are the ones that then referred me to um, LifeWell Peer Support Training. They said, you can make a living for you and your daughter and get a job helping other people with the same struggles that you've been through. And I was just like, that's amazing, you know, because I was really worried. I've got, I'm a two-time felon, DCS case, like no one's going to want to hire me. I haven't worked in 12 years. Um, so I did the training, the 10-week training with Christopher Hockenberry. Thank you, Christopher. He was an amazing instructor. Um, and then I went over to the Mitchell location and Sharon Drosos was awesome. She sat with me for over two hours to help me with my resume. 
and we applied to LifeWell. There was a position at Oak. I was so nervous and I went in and had the interview with my clinical coordinator today, Seneca Dixon. Thank you, Seneca, for giving me the opportunity to get back into the workforce so I could make a living for myself and my daughter. I am forever grateful for this and, um, and I love my job. I love going to work. I am doing a really good job. I'm finishing my productivity at, productivity at 100% every month. And um, you know, the other night Addison came out in my high heels with my badge on telling me that she's gonna work for life well too, you know? And it just feels really good today to have my daughter look up to me and I don't have to worry about where we're gonna sleep. I don't have to worry about how I'm gonna feed her. Like I'm, I'm able to be who I always wanted to be today. A mom that can work full time and take care of her kid. And um, I wouldn't trade, I wouldn't trade anything I've been through you know, I'm glad that I went through the experiences that I have so that I can help other people today. And it, it just is, um, addiction is just really, it affects everybody involved. So if you um, have a family member or a friend that is struggling with addiction, just don't give up on them. Just know that healing is possible. There are programs out there like LifeWell that can help you and can help you completely transform your life. So if I could just share this with you. That was me when I got arrested two years ago. And that's me today. So thank you for listening to my story. Bye.